Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing our mini savings challenges, and I love doing my mini savings challenges. I use my mini challenges as stepping stones in achieving my bigger goals. And we are going to show these challenges some love today. So for this video, there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. Each challenge um, in this binder is going to get $20. And let's get going. This first darling mini challenge is from Cindy Cout Budgets. And she went ahead and she gave me this, this challenge. And I just wanted to thank her for that. I kind of have a cat theme going on this month. And this is perfect for that. And look, if you look at the challenge, actually it only needs $15. So we're gonna put 20 in and take out five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna color in these icons and then let's add up the money and I will share with you what I'm going to use this money for. These little cats are so dang cute. And this challenge has a total of $40. Now, I reserved this challenge for my vacation binder. And so on, let's see, on Friday, you will see me add this money to my vacation binder. Let's see if there's $40 in here. There's 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and $40. Now, $40 to some of you may not seem like a very big amount, but over time and challenge after challenge, it certainly adds up. So $40 for my vacation binder. I am loving that. Okay, that means I need to replace it with a new challenge, and we will do that in just a minute. Moving on, the I Love You Challenge. February is the month of love. And one of the things that I absolutely love to do is to tell people that I love them. It just makes me happy and I just do. There's just something about me. I see the good in others and that goodness I love. So challenge for today, tell someone that you love them. Make their day. Make them feel that warm, fuzzy feeling you get when someone shares their love. Okay, I said it was going to get 20, so let's color in two tens here. There's one $10 bill spot and another $10 bill spot. So to finish this one, we only need five, oh no, 10 more dollars. So that is amazing. And... I have this challenge set aside for my retirement um, big challenge that I'm working on. So let's see how much money we have in here so far. It looks like we have 20. I'm going to organize this money. My goodness. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Um, 49 and one more makes 50. So each of these little mini challenges are worth $60. When I finish this one, I'm going to move on to my love letter challenge. And this is all in honor of the month of February that will be um, coming along. So there we go. It will be great to put that money in my retirement big savings challenge. Okay, it's all about mermaids right now. And this darling mermaid challenge is from Madeline Budgets. And let's color in. Ooh, I think mermaids for me are like blues and purples and greens. So let's grab a couple of these. Let's grab a green and... Maybe a lighter purple. Okay, $20 worth of coloring. Here we go. Huh. Well, you know what? We could just do the big shell. And actually, I think a shell should be like an orangey color. 
So I'm gonna do that. Color this one in. Madeline has a YouTube channel and she has an Etsy shop and she is from Romania. And I am so grateful for YouTube because through YouTube, I've gotten to meet people from all around the world, which I would normally not meet. And she and I have become friends, and I'm just grateful for that. So there we go. Go on over and check out her video and check her videos and check out her Etsy shop. So let's add the twenty dollars. And now this challenge has $25 in it. When it's completed, it will be worth $130, and I need to specify where my money is going for this challenge. Okay, I have nine areas of focus, and that's why I have nine savings challenges. How many areas of focus, focus do you have? Are you using your mini savings challenges to meet your bigger goals? All right, this is from my friend, Maury. She is just the nicest, cutest person, and she has a great YouTube channel. And she sent this to me, and we are going to add two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, $14. So I'm gonna put in 20 and take out six, and that worked out perfectly, and we are completing this challenge today which is awesome. She, uh, Maury has a YouTube channel and she has an Etsy shop. I believe it's an Etsy shop. If not in her description, um, it will take you to her shop. And she does lifestyle blogs and she does budgeting blogs. And so she is a super fun one to watch. Okay, let me do this. Color in a few more. I think we need to change colors because fireworks are all different colors. My family absolutely loves going to fireworks. Um, I have one son in particular that will go to all the different firework events. So where we live, we celebrate um, the week before the 4th. It's our community celebration our town celebration, and they have fireworks. So we go to those, and then on the 4th of July, we have fireworks, and he goes to those. And then other cities around, it seems like they stagger it so that people can go to all the events. And so he'll go to like three or four different um, firework things, and it is so fun. He gets so excited, and it just makes me smile. Okay, so this challenge is now completed and it is going to my month ahead binder, which we will stuff on um, Friday as well. So now we have two binders we're going to be adding money into on Friday. And we get to put a new challenge inside here. So that is so exciting. Um, I was gonna tell you guys also that we celebrated so many birthdays. And I'm gonna just go ahead and add at the end our birthday celebration, just a singing happy birthday to those four people that mean so much to us in our family. And you're just gonna smile when you see how many candles all four of those people had. It was awesome. Okay, here we go. The Winter Savings Challenge. It's going to get the 20 that I said. And now this challenge has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Winter is moving along. I feel like before we know it, it's going to be over and spring will be here. And so I'm going to just keep working on this challenge. I have, a, you know, quite a few more to do, but we'll make it. We'll make it work. And the money for this is going to go in my son's mission fund. So there we go. All right, our bookworm. I wondered if we were going to be very close to completing this one. Let's see. Pull all this out. The bookworm is getting at 5, 10, 15, and 20. So we'll only have two more for next time. And I think next time we'll finish that. All righty, color in these. 5, 10, 15, and 20. 
And our bookworm challenge is going to go, the money is going to go to my 100 envelope challenge. So that will give it a great jump start. Now this challenge has 20, 40, 45, 50, and when we add 10 more, it will have a total of $60. $60 is for me a good, good amount for a mini savings challenge. It's quite a bit of money when you add it to something, but it's not too much money. And so it's a quick win, an obtainable goal. Okay, let's do this. Going to scratch off my lumberjack challenge and see what happens. All right, it is for $15 and I had 20 set aside for it. So that will be easy. We're gonna put a 20 in and take five out. This scratch off is from Golden Girl Budgets and I won it as a giveaway, so it's even better. Um, it's absolutely adorable, and I think it fits the woodsy winter vibe. So if you want to scratch off, this is a good one. It's $100, and it's very easy and very doable. So two more for that one, and this one will be done. I feel like giving these little mini challenges 20 bucks is making a big dent in everything. Okay, I should we roll the dice for this one? because that's what I normally do. And let's see how much money I'm going to be adding. Well, there's six, seven, eight. We can do $8, let's see. Do I have a pen in here? I'm gonna write $8 there. And let's see if I have enough change. Five, six, seven, and eight. And I think we can roll one more time. 10. Perfect. Let's put a 20 in and take 10 out. And it's going to look like it's going to be all ones, which is fine. So there's one, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, and that makes 10. So, I need to write a 10 here. And now this challenge, wow, it has a jumbled mess of money. Okay, let's see, let's count it. 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. $52 in our butterfly savings challenge. Woohoo! Okay, let's show our fox some love. Lots of love here. Let's give our fox challenge the $20. Oh my, looks like I have money in here. Oh, I know what, last time I didn't have enough to color one in. So let's add the $1, so that will be one spot, and now we can color all the money for the 20. So we need to color in five spots today. How many of you got the Fox Savings Challenge, this mini savings challenge as a freebie for ordering off the Happy Mailbox Company? So we've had quite a few freebies that we've given out lately. And my daughter-in-law and I have an Etsy shop and we create these. And we gave the Fox Challenge out. It is not available on our shop yet. Um, I'll eventually put it up. But if you are wanting to have this adorable Fox Challenge and the two other challenges that go with it, make a purchase at the Happy Mailbox Co. And in the comments, just write that you would like the Fox Challenge. We also have a mini Disney challenge going on and a larger di a Disney challenge that you could get for a freebie. So there's choices, there's three choices. Um, the Disney ones though, I'm going to shut them down here pretty soon, but uh, head on over and specify what you want. So there's five, 10, 15, 20. We need to do one more because there's $25 in here. And let's do a forest green color. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I had a subscriber send me a picture of her cat because I've got a cat theme kind of going on. And when she got her little kitty, it only weighed one pound. And in honor of this mini savings challenge, I'm going to put the picture of this cute little kitty. It weighed one pound when she got it and she nourished it, brought it back to good health. And now it is just adorable. And she was showing this cat so much love. So I just wanted to share that with you. Subscribers share wonderful things with me and I just think it's fun to pass it along. Okay, there's that one. Can I get the envelope open? Let's see. Okay, here it all goes. And our last challenge is our owl challenge. Wait, did I do all nine? I, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I knew it. We're not doing the owl challenge yet. But I want to show you guys we need to fill in these spots. So I am going to fill it one of them in with the owl challenge because I love it. If I can get it out here. Okay, I'm gonna fill one with the owl challenge. Get this darling thing in right there. And I also got a new mini savings challenge from, oh my, I got it. I'll put her name up here. I'm, I'm having a blank, but I'm going to put it up and it's just adorable. So I'm going to, it's called nest egg savings and I'm going to make each one of these eggs $5 or maybe I'll roll the dice. That might be fun too. I'll decide, but I'm going to put I'm going to go ahead and put a link to her um, Etsy shop. And this envelope is just priceless. And this is adorable. So I'm going to put that one in right here. All right, everyone. We did so well today. Completed two mini savings challenges. We added two new challenges. We are super close to completing the love challenge and that's going to be awesome we'll finish that next time we're super close to finishing the lumberjack challenge and the bookworm challenge well i hope everyone has a fabulous day and don't forget to watch the little clip here at the end of this video until wednesday i hope you find wonderful things to be grateful for bye yeah.